Hello, in this video, I'm gonna do some improvements and fix a few problems. So right now, our movie speed is independent from our zoom, but we want to make it dependent. And we want our movie speed feel stable regardless of our zoom amount. So to do that, I'm gonna go to my scripts and I'm gonna open camera controller. And let's go to the update. And now here when we change the root position, I'm going to add an extra parameter and I'm going to multiply this by zoom divided by zoom max. And I'm going to do the same thing for our Y axis. So that's one improvement. Now let's go to our position lerp. Right now moving with the camera doesn't feel good in the mobile device. So to improve that here when I lerp the position of the camera instead of lerp it would be better to use a smooth damp. And this smooth damp takes a velocity so I'm just gonna create a new vector 3 call it velocity. And here after target position, I'm going to say ref velocity. And this is also another improvement that we just did. And here in the place on the grid, let's actually add the original X and Y as well. And let's go to the select function. Here it is. And I'm just gonna create a public boolean here. And I'm going to name it waiting replace response and let's make it hide in inspector. And here I'm going to add a condition and check to see if we are waiting for response or not. And if we are, then we're going to return. And now let's go to the deselect. And I think I'm going to create another function. Let me just copy this deselect. I'm just going to paste it here. And I'm going to name it save location. And here let's just remove this two lines. And I'm going to remove this line as well. And let's also pass a boolean here. Let's just name it the reset if not equals to true. And let's cut this part of the condition and paste it here as another parameter for this if a statement. instead of original x i'm just gonna say x and instead of original y i'm just gonna say y and i'm also going to add another condition saying and is not waiting for a replace response so that should do it let's cut these values and just remove that and paste it here and here I'm just going to get a copy of that and paste it here. And also I am going to set the waiting for response to true. And here let's add a condition saying if reset. And within this condition I'm going to add another condition saying if waiting for replace response. So let's cut this inside here and cut this one inside here and let me clear this spaces and now let's go to our deselect and instead of all of these I'm just gonna say save location and I'm not gonna pass any parameter the default is going to be true 
and now let's go to the player script and here when we are receiving the packet if the packet type is replace so first let me just cut these variables and bring them up here and now I'm going to cut this for loop as well um, let's bring that up here as well and now I'm going to cut this switch statement and bring it inside this for loop and if statement and now I'm going to move this line here in the place successful let me clear that and that one as well and here before we break from the loop we're gonna say ui main dot instance dot grid and buildings i and we're gonna set the waiting for response to false and let me remove this space and here let's add an if statement so for that i'm just gonna copy this part and say is not equals to building dot selected instance we're gonna handle that situation later now let's go to the camera controller script and here in the move is started and move cancelled i'm just gonna remove that line and here in the move cancelled and here i'm gonna add the condition to check if we are replacing the building in that case we're gonna set that to false but we're also going to check to see if building does have a select instance or not and we're gonna say building dot selected instance dot save location and we're gonna pass false now let's go back to the building and let's find update grid position and here i'm gonna add a condition if x is not equals to current x or y is not equals to current y we're gonna say base area dot game object that sets active true so we fixed and improved everything on the client side now let's go to the server side i have the server project open let's go and find replace building and let me expand that and here in this for loop i need to add a condition and i need to check if the buildings i dot database id is not equals to building dot database id and only then i'm gonna check for an overlap let me cut that and place it here so that's another problem fixed now let me start the server and play the client here my camera movement is a lot better and if you get a build for android you will feel how much it improved and got better also here when i select a building and drag it around when i release it it just gets replaced let me replace this one as well as you can see when i release it if it's red it still remains like that but when i move it somewhere green it just gets replaced automatically so i know i didn't add anything new to the game in this video but believe me these improvements were very necessary and made the game look and feel a lot better hopefully in the next video i'm gonna do more but this is it for this one please don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching